So let's talk about the trend in the pipeline um, as well. We've got two trend charts on this dashboard. Um, we've got the long-term pipeline trend, and we've got the one below it with the short-term pipeline trend. So the difference between them is the long-term pipeline trend is what's called in Salesforce an as-at report. It runs on the first of each month. And what's it showing? Well, it's showing the pipeline as at the 1st of October, the 1st of November, the 1st of December, 1st of January, etc., etc. So it will run on the 1st of each month, and it shows the historical pipeline. In other words, the pipeline as it was on the 1st of each of those months. So I, I like this report. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good I report. think it's a good report for showing the overall trend in the size of the pipeline and um, very often you see well actually the pipelines change these in our particular example the the amounts are fairly much in proportion but quite often you can see a, a trend an increase let's say in the pipeline or a decrease in the pipeline because of a shift in one of those um, opportunity stage uh, values so that's the long-term trend in the pipeline the one below Sorry, were you going to say something yeah, about that? No, I was going to just talk about the short-term mm -hmm. pipeline trend. Um, that adds a lot of value for me. And I, I think there are, you know, kind of two reasons that adds a lot of value. And that is, as you were saying before, some companies do have a longer-term outlook towards their sales. But a lot of companies are using two, three-month cycles and turnarounds. And I think that short-term trend, when you've got those short sales cycles, is really indicative of what's going on within the company. So I, I think that adds real value. And not only that, I think it's it can it can add value when you've got some sort of marketing activity going on. Yes, that's, so that's what I think. If yeah. you've got a trade show or something like that coming up and you put a lot of effort into it, you're going to want to see some sort of pickup from that. You're going to want to see some sort of upturn in opportunities or prospecting opportunities. Yeah. And that's going to show you if that's happened subsequent to that trade show so I think that that can be really useful I think it's a good way of understanding if you need to make a sudden shift in tactics in yes. other words I might have looked at my uh, I might have looked at my funnel chart and said um, I might have said oh good grief we need a lot more prospecting we need we're short of early stage funnel or I might look at it and say you know we've got all this prospecting um, uh, early stage opportunities but we're not driving it through the pipeline so you might have said to the guys you know, the session, right, this week focus on this one thing alone and that might be for example increasing pipeline get on the phones do everything we can to increase the pipeline well I want to know I don't want to wait a month I want to know next week yes. or know at the end of this week yes. whether that's had um, whether that's had an effect so, so the long term and the short term pipeline trend